this brief podcast, what we're going to do is examine quantitative and qualitative research methodologies to look briefly at the similarities and differences of these two forms. Uh, some of the main points that we would want to recall relate to the, uh, the, what these actually are. Quantitative research involves analysis of numerical data. Things are quantified. Numerical values are placed on them, and those numerical values are then analyzed using uh, statistical processes. Qualitative research involves analysis of data such as words, pictures, or objects. We may be talking about conducting interviews. We may be uh, talking about watching uh, recordings on television. Uh, all sorts of different things that we might do with qualitative research. Now, a great debate rages and has raged for many years over as to which is the best method. The quantitative researchers champion their cause and the qualitative researchers champion theirs. The fact is, is that neither method does everything. Uh, both have their uses, both have their value, and you need to choose a methodology which fits your research problem and which, uh, with which you are comfortable. So let's, let's move into this. Now, how are they alike? Well, the statement might be made that raw data are ultimately qualitative. Now, I've told you that I'm basically quantitative in my approach, but I agree with this statement. Even to uh, give a number to something, we must first evaluate what we're giving that number to. So that statement is pretty powerful, that raw data are ultimately qualitative. Both do involve the researcher. I mean, the researcher is uh, leading the project. Both have data collection steps. Both follow the six-step research model. And both similarly report the research problem. Now, what I'm telling you by this is, is that quantitative and qualitative are both legitimate methodologies by which a researcher may... Uh, may analyze a research problem. Now, they differ in some things. They have different approaches to gathering and analyzing information. They examine different types of data, and they have different aims. When we talk about the approaches and we talk about the, uh, the types of data, I mean, quantitative looks at numbers. Qualitative may look at words or pictures or interviews. They have different approaches. So, uh, in uh, quantitative, uh, data are numerical and they're handled in that manner. In qualitative, the researcher may conduct field interviews. They have different aims. In qualitative, the aim is to come up with a holistic, complete description. In quantitative, the aim may be simply to look at uh, one specific aspect and to determine some thing about that one specific aspect which has been predetermined. Now, the role of the researcher differs in these two fields. In quantitative, the researcher is always a little pointed ear outside objective observer. In qualitative, the researcher can be subjective. The researcher may be involved in different levels in the actual uh, experiencing of the phenomena being studied. Now, there are different levels of understanding what is being sought, and that's a very interesting difference. When one does quantitative research, generally uh, the, the thing that is being sought or the subject that is to be studied or analyzed is, is pretty fairly well understood. And the analysis is based upon that, that prior understanding. In qualitative research, the, the phenomena may not be known hardly at all. And qualitative may be used to discover aspects of the phenomena to be studied. And these methodologies differ in the manner in which the design emerges. In quantitative research, the design is laid out on the front end. In qualitative, the design emerges as the research goes on. Now, those are very interesting differences. Now, just to summarize, in quantitative research, you generally end up with data reduced to numbers, which are analyzed using statistics. In qualitative research, you will describe and analyze a phenomenon using words. Now, I hope based upon this short little summary that you have begun to got a feeling of the concerning the differences in quantitative and qualitative research. Your job is now is to go through the reading material in the textbook, which has been assigned, 
until you are very well conversant in, in describing quantitative and qualitative research and in discussing the similarities and differences to these two approaches.